Hello everybody, Jimmy here from the great state of New Jersey, or at least the once great state of New Jersey. I know I did a few videos on, you know, Governor Chris Christie, but do you really want, do you really see or have the time to see what's happening to New Jersey? Okay, New Jersey always had one of the best educational systems out of all the states in the country, and it was torn apart by Governor Christie. Okay, he was a bully, you know, with the teachers' unions and everything. But what really happened is that now the teachers, you know, they use a lot of them that are temporary, you know, part-time teachers. They have no loyalty like a, a teacher that knows that, uh, you know, they'll be tenured one day. If there's a problem with the performance of the teacher, they should be able to get rid of the teacher. But to bullying them over money and everything so that they can't hire teachers. And all the towns right now, they're happy the mayors. Okay, they don't have to worry too much about a, a budget, you know, with the teachers, which is normally the biggest part of a town's budget. But they're filling all these spots. They're qualified people, but you can't expect them to turn on and off loyalty knowing that they're going to be someplace for a day or two. So I think it was a big mistake with what Governor Christie did with bullying the unions. Okay, look at some of the other things he did, and you could decide if you, he's a hero or not. When we used to have car inspections that we paid for as part of the money of uh, registering a car, we used to get a quality inspection. Now you look through a parking lot, Look at the tires of cars. There's plenty of people that don't have the money that are driving around on bald tires. Just look when you're driving along. Look at how many cars because people don't check. They should be checking the safety of their vehicle. But look at how many cars have one tail light or two tail lights out. Okay, the police department cannot keep up with issuing tickets. They have other things to do. Okay, and also the police departments were cut. So you can't expect them to be pulling over everybody that they see, but that's another deterioration of this state. The list goes on. Okay, what happened to the $60 billion in Storm Sandy? You go down Point Pleasant, I'm sure everybody visited the Tiki Bar down there, which has just been the delightful place to go after the years. There's still plenty of houses right across the street that were never put back together after Storm Sandy. What's gonna happen? All of a sudden, right before the election, that money is gonna probably show up? That's pretty sad for the people that have suffered so long before you know it would be going on a year. Then, do you, you know, do you really wanna vote in a governor? All right, we only have our choice between, you know, the uh, Democrat, Yo Bono, and Governor Christie. That, you know, he seems like a shoe in Do you really want to vote him back in? You could see how much he's traveling around to other states. He's been in New Hampshire. He's been in Iowa. Okay, planting the seed that I might run in 2016. So even though I think he's been a terrible governor of New Jersey, okay, what happens when he's running for president? What's he going to do? Be a part-time person? You can't run a state like New Jersey in part-time. There are no jobs here to begin with. Yesterday I was out on my motorcycle. I went out on Route 80 to about the second or third exit in in Blairstown. Even out there, the number of places that are for rent, for sale, there are no jobs. You go on the websites for jobs in New Jersey, there are none. Good thing New York is our friends and Governor Cuomo's not doing anything about, you know, trying to restrict the internet that we can't uh, look for jobs there. There's jobs in New York, nothing big, but did you see a commercial looking at the positive of New Jersey? Years ago, you used to be able to say, you know, New Jersey has some of the most best educated people in the United States out of all the school system. Move your business here because you get a quality person with a good education. I don't see any commercials like that. There are no commercials trying to help to drive businesses here. Yet in every town, premium towns that you used to wait for years for a spot to open your business, they're closed, they're for rent, they're for sale. This is unbelievable. 
this is the saddest it's been in New Jersey, I think, since the Depression. And I'm only saying that looking at history. I'm not saying that from personal experiences. But I will tell you from personal experiences, things are terrible in this state. No jobs. You know, nobody checking the cards anymore. Okay? No loyalty of teachers, and I can't blame them, you know, on how they've been bullied. Okay? We're really turning into... if. If it was possible to be a third world state, we would be a third world state, okay? Rated in highways, I'll tell you what, okay? I forgot the exact number, I think we were like 45 or 46 in how they rate states for their roads. I'll just say we're in the worst 10 states of the United States for roads, and yet we charge a fortune, an absolute fortune on the turnpike, you know, the Port Authority going in and out of the city, you know, and uh, the Garden State Parkway. So how could we have the worst roads with paying some of the premier, you know, uh, uh, prices that we pay on all these highways? While most other states, anything south of probably Washington does not charge to ride on their interstates. Yeah, we charge, I think it's $14 from one end to the other. You know, uh, $13 to go over the outer bridge crossing. $13 to go into Manhattan, okay, every few miles a dollar on the Garden State. So why don't we have premium roads on the Governor uh, Christie? Answer me that, please. Okay, so it's very sad what's happening. And there are no jobs. And my only other thing to the people that run the Republican committee, okay, you know, Christie probably would not have a chance running against Hillary, you know, Hillary Clinton in 2016, okay, all they got to do is look up the record of what Christie did in New Jersey. It sucks, okay, there's no good track record. You never read about him every day doing good things, like, you never say, gee, yo, we opened up this great business and we got Governor Christie here, okay, to help cut the ribbon because we just opened up a company that's bringing 200 jobs, 200 good paying jobs to the city. It absolutely sucks. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Jimmy, as always, yo, God bless the troops. If you want to text me, okay, it's friends of Jimmy's, all one word at gmail.com. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.